quote from the book on vertical integration. In a volatile market, the long spurned method of vertical integration is coming back into favor. This is a super interesting topic. In my new book, Profit from the Source, I dedicate an entire chapter to how in Henry Ford's totally vertically integrated car company, there was no room and no role for procurement. Modern day procurement very much is the result of companies focusing on what they perceive as core competences and sourcing out the rest. In this video, we will look at the extent to which the pendulum is swinging back by looking at the way the automotive industry is dealing with semiconductors. Let's get started. I think that it is fair to say that since the end of 2020, car makers have been on an extremely steep learning curve when it comes to semiconductors. Then, many car makers hardly had an idea which semiconductors were used in their cars. Most of the decision making regarding semiconductors was delegated to Tier 1 suppliers. And given this high degree of freedom, Tier 1 suppliers very much optimized in two directions, lowest cost and convenience. For car makers, this resulted in an unmanageable zoo of semiconductors that were often at or beyond their designated lifetime. This reckoning could not have come at the worst moment. To different extents, all car makers were in a transition from internal combustion engines to battery electric vehicles with some self-driving capability. This meant that all of these scarce engineering resources were stretched to dangerous levels. While being in 24-7 firefighting, most car makers realized that things could not go on like this. A higher level of control was needed. Not full vertical integration, but a far higher degree of control on what is going on in a vehicle's electronic architecture. But then maybe there is a trend for actual vertical integration in semiconductors in the tech industry. While even Apple and Tesla are still buying the majority of the semiconductors from exactly the same IDMs that all other companies are sourcing from, they invest strategically in where they can achieve a competitive advantage. For Apple, this holds true today when it comes to CPUs and GPUs where they are by now completely independent from Intel and AMD. And for Tesla, this is the case when they are going for better latency and lower energy consumption with their custom self-driving chip. Will be interesting to see what other car makers are coming up with. So there you have it, A6 vertical integration, a purchasing chessboard method that may help you break away from competition. Okay, I'm curious. Have you explored vertical integration? And if so, what were the results? Let all of us know in the comments down below. And should you have a question, I will get back to you within 24 hours. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.